Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we are going to cover the biggest buzz of the tech market deep seek chat gpt you must be hearing it out fine on linkedin on news everywhere deep seek has created a big buzz what is it what's it doing and what's it trying to create impact on and what kind of aura it has built right everything the complete saga of it we'll discuss today and i'll tell you why deep seek is actually creating a big impact on market why stock market crashed why nvidia was taken aback why open ai was taken aback because what deep seek just did was not just create a model that is way too easy to handle and way too cheaper in cost terms as compared to what open ai built but also on global level the hegemony of ai or the hegemony or the tech hegemony i can say of usa in the field of ai was challenged with the advent of deep seek and asia here again wins the battle of cost when it comes to technology fine so we'll go ahead and let's dive in deep why there's so much buzz around deep seek look deep seek has just built a model which is similar to oven model which was available with open ai fine we'll talk about its metrics and everything but for now what you can understand is it is an ai model fine just like what gpt built o1 version fine just like this it has built an r1 version but they are doing some really revolutionary things with reinforcement learning we'll come to it we'll come to it i'll show you and the best portion they have open sourced it with the advent of deep seek almost dollar 3.5 billion company nvidia their stocks pardon dollar 3.5 trillion if i'm not wrong and then their stocks immediately fell by dollar 650 billions which is a big big number and they have done all this in just 5 to 6 million dollars fine 5 to 6 million dollars and the price or the cost that their rivals are incurring for the same is almost 100 times they are 100 times cheaper in cost terms with their competitors fine so they are doing a very phenomenal job whole market is blown away and recently when i am recording this video while i am making this video i am literally getting goosebumps because indian government is planning to host them and i'm not making this up this announcement came from our it minister shri ashwini vaishnav and he is trying and getting deep seek to be hosted in india fine now deep seek versus chat gpt does it really beat every model on earth by far as of now when i'm recording this alibaba's founder jack ma has also Uh, released the news basically it came from alibaba fine news came from alibaba that they have built another model which is better than deep seek so before ai could replace humans ai is replacing ai very fastly fine so what i'll do is i'll go to the github page of deep seek and in that we have deep seek r1 and the best part that deep seek did was they have given their research paper link clearly openly for free go ahead read it they have given out what they have done basically in this in the deep seek r10 and deep seek r1 they built a model trained by a large scale reinforcement learning now for those who do not know what reinforcement learning is it is a technique it is a technique through which i'll tell you wait let me get my pen correctly here i need a pen and am i having it somewhere no it doesn't clearly show so let's yes fine now so basically reinforcement learning is a type of ai technique which works on the principle of reward and punishment fine reward and punishment so when your model predicts correctly it rewards the model when the model does not predict correctly it punishes the model basically carrot and stick policies followed your neurons adjust weights accordingly 
fine so what they've done is generally in post training phase supervised fine tuning was happening as a preliminary step and they demonstrated this whatever they did without supervised fine tuning as a preliminary step they simply subjected their data to large scale reinforcement learning and then on reasoning specifically their reasoning ability of the model was phenomenal absolutely phenomenal fine we'll go ahead in details but for right now what i'm trying to tell you is that it has achieved a performance comparable and sometimes even better than the open ai open across math code and reasoning tasks now what they're trying to say is we spent approximately 100 times lesser money and we built the same product that you built and our product is better than you in some manner fine so the whole challenge is that in the market wherever oven is being used now it has a competitor standing with better performance and with a cheaper cost fine now in reinforcement learning coming back there what generally happens is companies like OpenAI used to acquire a lot of data in post training phase which was a very ex expensive exercise in which they used to subject their data correctly filter out and prepare that data and then subject that data to the model for fine tuning and for the perfect training now what they have done is they were smart enough to change a few things basically they replaced they just removed the supervised fine tuning phase and what they did was they later on put reinforcement learning again in the post training phase which altogether changed their outlook towards the results if you see these are the matrix and these are the performance matrix on the performance matrix aime 2024 they have performed better this is deep seek fine they have performed better than openai oven they have performed better than openai oven mini they have performed better than both of their versions fine so whatever you are seeing in gray is of open ai fine and if you see on code forces again comparable to open ai 96.3 and 96.6 .6. in gpqa diamond there was a significant difference 71.5 was the score that was achieved by deep seek basically this is accuracy percentile fine so on math 500 it again came out better than open ai in MMLU and SWE bench verified it was comparable to OpenAI now going with these metrics they can actually shake up the market because they are providing better math and reasoning at times than OpenAI that open model that they were trying to build after spending so much and they've simply said that large-scale reinforcement learning has helped them do that fine see post training what they are doing is they are directly applying reinforcement learning to the base model without relying on supervised fine tuning as a prelimin preliminary step what usually earlier used to happen was that once you have a base model ready with you you first apply sft which is supervised fine tuning as a preliminary step then subject the model to reinforcement learning or to some other kind of learning according to your needs but right now they simply removed this step they subjected it to reinforcement learning this approach allows the model to explore chain of thought for solving complex problems and now i'll show you one square root problem one problem of mathematics that they were trying to solve and there in anthropomorphic manner which is a human alike manner they tried that let's see what model will respond model responded like a human i'll show you that's clearly detailed out in research paper that was the aha moment of this deep sick ai fine so it helps to explore chain of thought for solving complex problems resulting in the development of deep seek r10 now deep seek r10 demonstrates capabilities such as self verification reflection and generating long chain of thoughts marking a significant milestone for the research community notably it is the first open research to validate that reasoning capabilities of llms can be incentivized purely through reinforcement learning basically what it's trying to say is that for any llm this is the first open research which claims that for any llm the reasoning capabilities can be incentivized or can be lo made lucrative 
purely through reinforcement learning without the need for SFT. They have eliminated the need of supervised fine tuning. And this has actually paved way for future advancements because a lot of times when most of the expenses go in the preliminary phase of SFT, which was as said by the tech hegemons, now this thought has clearly broken. Clearly, this myth has been busted that you do not need to spend a lot on the SFT phase and yet you can achieve wonderful results. And that is why they incorporated a pipeline with two RL stages aimed at discovering improved reasoning patterns and aligning with human preferences as well as two SFT stages that serve as the seed for the model's reasoning and non-reasoning capabilities. Fine. So they are now building a new pipeline where the, mo uh, the SFT stages will serve as the seed for the model's reasoning and non-reasoning capabilities. Fine. Now, they are, of course, they are trying and constantly saying that smaller models can be better too. And this Quen, this Quen model is actually built by Alibaba and now very soon they'll be changing and they are better. If I'm not wrong, I recently read that Quen has surpassed DeepSeek. Let me see if it pops up. Yes, see, AI meets Jugad as Alibaba's Quen 2.5 pips DeepSeek in model battle, fine. So they are again back to it, they have launched Quen 2.5 Max and they are claiming that they are better than DeepSeek. So this is constantly now, now it's great deal who will win this race, fine. However, if I show you the benchmarks, fine. You see the difference between OpenAI O1 and DeepSeek. Just this is OpenAI O1 and DeepSeek. Fine. If for English, these are various parameter performance matrix 91.8, 90.8, almost comparable. Somewhere 90.2 and 92.2. Somewhere they actually surpassed them. Fine. For coding capabilities, Live Code Bench 63.4. That was the grading that it gave to O1. Fine. 65.92, DeepSeek. Code Forces gave 96.6 to OpenAI, 96.3 to DeepSeek. Very comparable. Fine. For math, AIME gave 79.2 to OpenAI, 79.8 to DeepSeek. Again, very comparable. And Math 500 said 96.4 is the percentile, accuracy percentile that was scored by uh, OpenAI. And 97.3, a very significant difference in DeepSeek. Fine. So they are doing just amazing job. Fine. I'll and they've given everything for open how to run it how you can use these LLMs on your local systems fine now I'll go to the research paper and I'll show you one wonderful thing they have literally put out everything in open source as comparable to open AI which the company says it is open AI it is not usually open about things fine whereas deep seek is quite open in everything and if I go ahead and go to the aha moment of it on page number six, it is, if I correctly remember. Yep, it's on page number six. So if I go ahead, this is page number seven and here you'll find one place where this is the question. This is the prompt where it said they asked a question and this was the response. It thought for a while. Then it started solving the equation, but this was the response that was generated by DeepSeek AI. Wait, wait, wait. That's an aha moment. I can flag here. And imagine an AI model putting out this result in front of you. Because this is very, very revolutionary for us, for us humans. Because it is searching or it is telling us, it is responding to us in anthropomorphic tone, tone fine so that's that's big deal because for us for us humans it is very clear that we can witness that after reinforcement learning it can start creating that chain of thought in a human like format fine and that too with such accuracy where it starts responding and the reasoning capability is increasing with the fact that it was a mist of solving a problem and then it immediately shifts it its focus fine so such groundbreaking capability that deep seek is offering is beyond anybody's imagination fine 
and why I'm building this video because I was myself very enthusiastic about what has come being a data science enthusiast and to all of you who who believe or who wanted to know about this and you were having just news and not the technical nuance or the exact tech uh, uh, awareness of it or the exact tech knowledge of it for them i am building this video and i hope it cleared you a lot of things go ahead shoot up with your doubts and comments i am literally super interested to make further videos on it to answer your questions to answer your any doubt that comes up my way fine so come up with the doubts and tell me how i can help you with the doubts or what exactly you are trying to figure out in this or if you're having any doubt go ahead read the research paper and tell me if you're having something like that fine also this is a big big inspiration for all of us that even in india we can try and build such things fine all you need is a bit of investment but let's try and build a proof of concept to all my students i say one thing you try and build a proof of concept and if we have it we might find good investment fine on personal front i can tell you that you build something groundbreaking and i will make sure that you get investment from somewhere from my network fine that's that's what i can promise but before that build something groundbreaking first fine and apart from that as i always say keep doing good good will come back to you and keep changing the market keep hitting the market with bigger impact because we asians can actually change how globe thinks and a human can achieve whatever he or she can believe that's all for today have a wonderful day ahead